Okay. <clears throat> Earlier this morning, I said to you, left shoulder, right hip go together, left elbow, right knee go together, left wrist, right ankle go together, and con conversely, right shoulder, left hip go together, right elbow, left knee, left knee go together, right wrist, left ankle go together. And often you'll see complaints that way. The person says, oh, well, my right elbow hurts me, my left knee hurts me. They're connected. They're connected. And uh, it was Dr. Goodhart who discovered that if the elbow hurts, if the right elbow hurts, you can treat the left knee to help the right elbow problem. Even if there's no complaint of the left knee, you can treat the left knee to help the right elbow problem. So we have a kinesiological test to determine that and a method to fix it. It's called ligament interlink. Those joints I named off for you are connected by ligament interlink. Okay, you said, you said right knee? You said left, left knee. Okay. Okay, now touch your knee. Okay. Now, uh, Okay, so <clears throat> the inside of the left knee shows. So how am I gonna how am I gonna put that in pause lock? Because as soon as I <laughs> you <can> stay <laughs> as soon as she lets go, I've I've lost it. Okay, so here's how you do it. There's my indicator. Now, if I'm touching her, I can go into pause lock myself. Now, she can let go. I can put her into pause lock. And now that she's in pause lock, I can let go of my pause lock. And let's see if that worked. And she says, yep, every muscle in her body now is the medial surface of her left knee. Do you follow how we got to that point? So now I'm going to ask, is there a connection between that and the shoulder, which was her original question? And she says, ah, there is a connection. The normal c connection is the elbow. Okay, I'm going to fix the elbow first and see if that takes away the shoulder. Because it's logical that these two are connected, not these two. Okay, so we've proven that the elbow is connected to the knee. Because we got, we got the left knee and pause lock already. And when we do the elbow, it goes from weak to strong. Okay, now here's, if it's, if it's medial knee, you look for a sore spot over here. Any sore spots? Okay, now, when I find the sore spot, and this is a sore spot that she was not aware of to start with, you move the hyoid in the direction that you're going to treat. In her case, I'm going to move it from left to right. And then I treat the elbow. I treat the elbow after I move the hyoid toward the direction I'm treating. I'm treating a right elbow, so that's why I move the hyoid from left to right. Now, Let's see if that, grab this. Okay, nothing shows there. 
Let's see if anything shows here. That's, this is what showed originally, and now it's gone. Now, let's see if the shoulder shows, which it did originally. It's gone. So this was a compensation to this. And this was a compensation to that. And so that's how you use the ligament in your neck. You treat the contral lateral side of the body to the, to the wherever the pain was originally. And you, we treated this to take away the pain there. And she didn't even know she had a pain here until I found it. Then she says, oh, that's sore. So you understand now, you can do that for ankle, knee, hip, wrist, elbow, shoulder. In my office, I find it real common on almost every single shoulder problem that on the right shoulder, I need to treat the left hip as part of, the, of clearing out the shoulder. And how do I do that? I just move the hyoid in the direction where I'm going to treat. It's one more piece of the jigsaw puzzle. A piece you need to be aware of. It's pretty common. And you can do every technique you know for that shoulder. And, and, the, and the shoulder may still be sore because you didn't do the left hip. Hip and shoulder go together. Knee and elbow go together. Wrist and ankle go together. Okay, so the next thing that we want to focus on the joint, we've got joint alignment, we have nerve supply, we have local muscle treatment. The next thing we want to look at is the ligaments. So muscles are the primary stabilizer for any joint, but ligaments, yeah, they're very important too. So you could very easily do a localized ligament treatment where just therapy localize a ligament. Um, if there's a weakness, challenge either way. Um, you know, just challenge all different directions. Find a direction that creates a weakness, and then find a respiratory breath, inhalation or exhalation, exhalation that negates the weakness. So go into the weakness direction with the breath that negates the weakness. Very, very simple local ligament treatment. Now for more global ligament treatment, there's ligament interlink. So we are wired as if we are um, on all fours in a cross crawl pattern. So I'm not talking about anatomical position. I'm talking about if, as if you're on um, all fours on the floor, like a, a dog or a horse or something like that. So say that there's a problem with the outer ligament here in your hand, some pain there, something like that. You would therapy localize that. There'd be no positive therapy localization. You'd go to the cross crawl pattern related ligament, which would be the opposite. So this is my right hand. It would be my left ankle, the outer ankle, the lateral ankle ligaments. Therapy localize that. Make sure those don't therapy localize. Then you would check the tenderness of each ligament. Check here. Put some deep pressure and see how tender it is. And check the um, contralateral ankle the corresponding ligament, find out how tender that is, you're going to stimulate the least tender ligament. This is good, you don't do the painful one, you wanna do the least painful one. And this will help the nervous system balance what's going on with the ligaments. Also, whichever side you're stimulating, hold the hyoid toward that side, or have the patient hold the hyoid toward that side as you're stimulating that ligament. So that's a ligament interlink, global ligament uh, treatment in the body.